Everyone. Members past and present of St Andrew's Renaissance Singers, or REN Group as you may have known it, all share at least two things in common. First, a connection with the beautiful town of St Andrew's, and second, a love of Renaissance music. But what exactly is it about Renaissance music that's so special, so enjoyable, and what makes it different from other kinds of music? This is what some people had to say. I love singing Renaissance music, not only because of the sense of community that you get from being part of a choir like this, but also because some of the pieces that we sing really aren't that well known. And it's amazing to have an opportunity to like this to bring these pieces to life. Um, one of my favorite pieces that we've done is Alma Redemptoris Mater. It's so uplifting and the harmonies are just absolutely stunning. For me, the appeal of the choral music of the Renaissance is in its richness the strength and passion of those who wrote it, the heartfelt intensity of the music, and the amazing variety of texture which comes from the use of six or eight or sometimes many more vocal lines. This richness, of course, then feeds the passion of all those who sing it and explains, I think, why so many people put so much energy and love into singing in this choir and have taken so much from it. Now, more than ever, I think we all understand how important that is. Why Renaissance music? Because its ethereal and soaring nature is so therapeutic, even in lockdown. I like Renaissance music because I see it like a puzzle. So you've got all of the different parts and they all kind of interlock and interweave with each other. And you've got to try and work out where your part is and how it kind of fits into the bigger whole. So it's very much like a team sport, because if you sing your part on your own, it doesn't really sound that great. But when you kind of put it together with everybody else, you get this amazing sound of all of the different parts um, interlocking together. I suppose for me, Renaissance music's all about character. It's about phrasing. It's about thinking of different structures and forms and how they interplay with one another. Um, I'm increasingly of the mindset that there's a lot similar between kind of really challenging forms of contemporary music and Renaissance music in that they manipulate, undermine uh, and reinforce forms and structures and identities that we've appreciated in the past, but maybe not thought of in much more detail. Plus, so much of this music is so filled with character and expression and imagery, which I absolutely love to express and uh, I've used to inform a lot of the work that I do with choirs, whatever repertoire we're looking at. The piece you hear playing is Talos's Salvato Mundi, which is the first piece I sang with Renaissance Group when I joined back in the mid 80s. Uh, I can still hear the voices of the people I sang with in my head, the colours and individual textures in that wonderful unblended way that Ren Group has always celebrated this polyphonic tradition. Um, a wonderful combination of individual conversation and uh, social, collective, shared activity. Joining the Renaissance group as an alto in 1970 was my first introduction to this type of music and I've loved it ever since and still sing in a chamber choir. Talis anthems such as The Perfect If You Love Me or The Great Masses of Palestrina, Bird and Victoria with their harmonies blending into such an exquisite sound. There's a real joy of singing music in this style, whether you're holding the long note cantus firmus and listening to the harmonies change around you, or in my case, whether you're underpinning it with the low bass line and feeling that you're really supporting all those voices and that massive sound on top. It's a world of sound I absolutely love, and I hope I can help bring that world of sound to other people. Why Renaissance music? Well, quite simply, it's the foundation of all classical music. It's use of three-note chords, dissonance and resolution. All of these are the building blocks of most of the music that we listen to today. Secondly, it's universal. Like Shakespeare, many of the themes which are explored in Renaissance music, such as faith and love, are still relevant today. But I think the main appeal of Renaissance music is its polyphonic style, 
there's a real interaction between the different voice parts and that's why it sounds yeah. so nice. I've loved singing Renaissance music for the last five years because it's beautiful music. We sing it in beautiful settings. It's challenging and it's fun. A new genre for me and I've really enjoyed learning it and being part of it. My favourite piece is Lottie's Crucifixus in eight parts, the most heartachingly beautiful piece of music that I've ever heard or had the privilege to sing. Come and try it with us. My conducting background is with orchestras from the 18th century onwards and the relatively large choirs that go with them. But the roots of all this music lie firmly within the unrivaled Renaissance polyphony of the 16th century. Matchless composers, Palestrina, Victoria, Talis, Bird, Carver. So for me, it's a huge privilege and challenge to go back to these roots and conduct this amazingly complex and incomparably beautiful music with a small choir. The challenge is to achieve and maintain the sustained beauty of sound. Performing Renaissance choral music is hugely rewarding for all concerned. Rewarding for the singers because the cunning counterpoint ensures that each voice has an interesting and distinctive line to sing. Rewarding for the conductor because Renaissance music generally carries no indications of tempo or dynamics or expression, so the conductor is left remarkably free to develop from scratch with the choir their own interpretation of the score. Finally, rewarding for everyone, listeners as well, because of the rich and readily available treasure store of little-known Renaissance masterpieces from all over Europe, music of hope and of trepidation, of grief and of joy. It's all there.